Muslims around the world are celebrating one of their holidays with restrictions because of the COVID-19 pandemic. In Baghdad, people gathered in small groups and celebrations were muted. The festival of breaking the fast marks the end of the month-long dawn to sunset fasting of Ramadan. News for Jacks reporter Zach Lashaway talked with one refugee who has made Jacksonville home and is helping others integrate to life in America. It was January uh, 13, uh, 2010. That's the day Besma Alawi arrived in America. I've been calling Jacksonville home for the past uh, 10 years. Being a refugee yourself, what does it mean to be a refugee? It's, it's a really uh, tough question, but I can tell you uh, being forced to leave home, all what refugees look for is a home. Originally from Iraq. I was lost. Um, my background is uh, engineering and uh, I, I actually left home because my husband was supporting the American troops in Iraq. Uh, we were forced to leave uh, Iraq. Uh, we didn't know where we we're going to go. The River City became home. And we have refugees from all over the world. For Lawi and many others. When I came, I fell into a scam. Wanting to make sure nobody else became a victim. What are some challenges refugees face when coming to Jacksonville? This is actually what we are addressing today. So more, the big challenge is uh, the uh, resources that it's already exists, but they are not connected with. We decided to make sure that we fill this gap. We make sure that our communities are well connected with the service provi providers and with the resources in Jacksonville. And that's why uh, we decided to create a one, at least a one pager that lists all the trusted resources that our community could uh, use. Neighborly is scheduled to launch in June. The pandemic delayed its original debut in April. If people check weavetails.org, uh, we have a neighborly uh, a COVID-19 uh, resource page already there with a map. Um, and we have it in two lang in English and in Arabic, and we are trying to put it also in different languages. Making sure everyone's needs within a community are met. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.